So this video today is God's final warning to humanity. I know that that is a hefty title, uh, but we are going to talk about quite a bit. Um, so let's get into this certain uh, sequence of events that is going to happen uh, in the near future. So my goal here today is to show you as scripture has proclaimed the end of this age, what it will look like and how it compares with some things that we're seeing as current trends within our culture now. Uh, YouTube channels, they're really pushing this whole um, alien thing. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a red flag when we see that the History Channel is talking about ancient aliens. I mean, you know, it's not, not really historical. Again, so this is not an alien attack. Uh, it's actually going to be meant to keep you from turning to Christ and repenting of your sin during the age of the Antichrist. So the delusion that you are currently under is only going to grow stronger. I really hope and pray before this happens that many of you can find it within yourself to surrender your will and plans for your life to God so that way he can have you fulfill your divine purpose. Please, now more than ever, we have to turn away from the direction that the world is going and seek where our roots are. Please know that it's it's really um, all in love, right? So just like a child um, is disciplined by their parents, it's it's out of love. It's not um, to punish or chastise which or condemn, which many people seem to associate with Christianity. However, those are uh, hypocrites, um, as mentioned in the Bible. They are not true followers of Christ. Um, but again, you know, Jesus Christ loves everybody and he wants all of us to get through this evil delusion and return to him um, so that we will not be eternally separated from him. How does this delusion take place, right? Well, after the government figured out how your brain works, and they did this um, through the guise of psychology, uh, they work to prime you, okay? So what is priming? Well, priming is basically um, how they expose you to these subliminal messages so that you'll act in a way that is basically how they wanted you to act. So an example of this is Pavlov's dogs. It's a case study. So basically what happened was um, this psychologist rang a bell um, whenever he would feed these dogs and eventually he would remove the food and still ring the bell so what happened was when they the dogs would associate being fed with the tone that they were hearing um, and it would force them to salivate humans work in a very similar fashion we'll hear a certain thing or a certain tone by watching and listening to certain um songs and things like that and it'll force us to act in a manner that is totally devoid of what scripture tells us we should do and we don't even know why we want these things or act that way well um, this is exactly why and it started with these case studies like Pavlov's dogs okay so understand that you're being forced to believe lies you like Pavlov's dogs are being primed to think in a certain way about this coming event and look you don't have to take my word for it we're going to watch this SNL clip um, and there are certain things I'm going to point out as we watch. They did not come in peace. The hour is upon us. Aliens are stronger than we thought, which means the fight for humanity begins now. We may be down, but we are not out. Destroy those aliens and save the human race. But first, your commander in chief wants to say a word. What a beautiful day. <laughs> Who here loves Trump? I know this guy over here, he loves Trump. He loves Trump. <laughs> now here's the deal. We are going to beat these aliens because we have got the best military, but we don't win anymore. We know the aliens are killing us, sir. They have the most advanced weaponized technology we've ever seen. What should we do? The aliens. They just vaporized the entire state of California. So that I won the popular vote? <laughs> Everyone in California is dead. Even Arnold. Oh, this is the aliens, and this is us. 
This is us. Yes. That is a great show. This Sir, I have some terrible news. New York City has been attacked, and Trump Hotel has been completely destroyed, causing $50 million in damage. More like a billion dollars. She heard the aliens are already here. They've been hiding in this country for hundreds of years. It's a fact. They're shapeshifters. They look like regular people, but they're aliens. Getting this information. From a very reputable source. What, the FBI, the CIA? Infowars, it's a radio show hosted by Alex Jones. I hereby demand, sorry, I hereby bedand. Under God, God. indivisible, and with liberty and, and justice for all. It's him. He's the president. No, I'm not, you are. Really? This is gonna be so easy. <laughs> And this is revealing more deception as you will see this huge push in believing a lie about the reptilian aliens. Uh, again, it's not true. Um, part of the reptilian Pleiadian deception is that Jesus was a Pleiadian alien and we are star seeds. And again, as I told you, yes, you are. Many of you are called to be workers of light in this age of deception, um, but you are not a Pleiadian. You do not have you know, roots from the Vega star system. We all come from heaven originally. So in the guise of aliens, right, the Pleiadians are at war with the reptilians. Again, this is a half truth, right? The reptilians representing satanic forces and the Pleiadians representing angelic or godly forces, right? So again, it's the same story about a war, um, but again, it's only the half truth. So this will bring in the age of false peace and the world will be united in three ways, which we are going to break down um, how you're going to be exposed to the, to the deception right now. The first way is a one world government. So you can see this through the UN, again, symbol of peace, a false narrative of an alien attack, all will be asked to come together to fight a common enemy, right? So many are gonna love this idea. So it's going to create opposition between those who are trying to present the truth to you. So understand, yes, all will come together, um, but this new government will bring in a new police force. Again, this is no longer the American police per se. Um, you can see this through the current militarization of the government. And to understand that at the snap of a finger, your rights can go right out the door, okay? Um, so again, race riots, um, they've been incited on the American people thanks to controlled media outlets by two different people and we've been lied to in a lot of ways as you see we have this false idea of choice you know there's Apple or Android you know there's Verizon or T-Mobile like we have largely been turned into co corporations and conglomerates and this is all just a push in the direction um, of the rise of the Antichrist. So violence is happening all over America, but again, it is meant to spark vile, nasty debates among each other so that you, in effect, hate your neighbor, which is the opposite of Christ's teaching. So Matthew 22, 37 to 39 says, and Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. So this is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. We're not doing that when we're in heated, vile debates over t things that were meant to cause you to hate each other, okay? So again, how many of you can really say that you love your neighbor? A popular thing will cause you to face extreme judgment um so the courts of heaven a lot of people don't understand that these are very real courts when god talks about a kingdom he's talking about a real kingdom that exists and it's coming into this new age and you either are on board or you're not and you know a lot of us need to really search within ourselves um to seek a connection back with god so that he can show us who we really are and were when all of this is enacted the world is going to believe that they are at peace okay now, concerning the chip or the mark, um, prophecy states that again, under the lie of an alien attack, many are going to be then required to receive this RFID chip, which will have all government uh, documents, including social security, um, passport, credit cards, keys, etc. Right? It's all going to be done under the concept of false security, which again is largely a lie. Um, so you can see that you're being primed for this in a handful of ways. Uh, again, go paperless as an example. 
Um, it happened to me recently, my visa card, they're like, oh, you've been enrolled in Go Paperless. And it's like, I didn't ask for that, but you know, thanks for doing it anyway. I prefer my statements, right? Um, now, you could see it, like I said, with the Go Paperless, um, Tap and Go Technology, the virtual wallet. Um, we'll get into a little bit about currency in a minute, but again, this is all getting you used to this concept, right? Getting So that way it seems like it's just the next technological step um, when in reality, when in effect, uh, you are being primed to receive the mark. It started with the inserting of the chip. So you're getting used to the concept of using a chip, which tracks all of your purchases as well as your location. Now, biometrics, facial recognition, um, the thumbprint to unlock the phones. Um, again, these are all ways of priming you, okay? These thumbprints are now used in places of work. So if people go into their job like in order to clock like in order to use the the machines um like you'll see that fast food restaurants and things like that and you know bars have them now and you put like the little you put your thumb on this little blue thing and then you enter a code but it's just a way of identifying you based on biometrics so don't take my word for it again as i've said before i don't want you to take my word for it i would rather you take the word of those who have invented it right so their company is called biohack it's Biohacks International. They're known as a global market leader, okay? Now, understand one thing here, National Wa Railway System, we're going to talk about that. Um, it's using biohacks to install a paper ticket replacement to create efficient and sustainable travel experiences. So when you go on the National Railway System that they are bringing forward, I'm going to show you something about a ceremony that they've done, which was a satanic ceremony. Again, don't want you to take my word for it. I want you to see the truth for yourself, okay? So look at some of the global media coverages, right? And these are like entrepreneurs, so you know that that's not a reputable source. Forbes, Wired, The Washington Post, The New York Post, um, BBC, uh, you know, Telegraph, Independent. So these are all news sources that you know you can't trust. You can see how they want this to be used. So I'm going to go ahead and play that video. So the biggest benefit, I think, is convenience. It basically simplifies your life because you don't have to have keys. Uh, you don't have to use uh, tags or anything else for using printers. You can um, uh, do airline fares with it. You can Disturbing shot from The Simpsons airline, right? So again, 23, a number about disorder. And also um, go to your local gym, etc. So it basically replaces a lot of things you have other, you know, other communication devices for looking like, why would I do this? But then on the other hand, I mean, people have been implanting things in their body like pacemakers and stuff to control your heart. Your health, you could get data about your whereabouts, how, you, how often you're working, how long you're working, if you're taking toilet breaks and things like that. I'm certain that this will be the natural way to add another dimension to our everyday life. I mean, for me to be able to seamlessly interact with everything digital around me means me leaving a keychain, which, however, is a 5,000-year-old invention. Cards to, it, it's, yeah, it's obvious, I mean, it's the next step. Yeah. I saw this at a fair uh, once and got really excited because it's finally gotten to using it in movies and now it's uh, available for uh, common people. I can leave my keys at home and just keep this. <laughs> I usually lose a lot of things like my keys and everything so this will give me access and uh, help me a lot more. It was on the Dr. Oz show. Our own government is promoting it. Okay, you can you can see it in this uh, news clip. Kinds of new ways to safeguard and identify all those things that make each of us unique, our faces, even our fingerprints, even our eyes. Here now with more on the future of technology. To a hospital unconscious with no ID or medical history, but thanks to a microchip under your skin, it's all there. Science fiction 20 years ago, but a biometric reality today. And iris scans verify passenger identities at airports. Within 10 years, that technology may be even more widespread. And look for more complex facial recognition programs that scan a crowd of thousands looking for a single terrorist. ...of our wallets and keys using biometric technology. 
if that's what people want in 10 years' time. In fact, it's already here. The latest home security locks use fingerprints to control deadbolts. And at the Jewel Osco grocery store in Chicago, some customers pay using their fingerprints. The challenge is to safeguard our privacy in a brave new world. Please understand that if they're promoting these things, you know, it, it should make you also question the validity of the news and the things that they're saying. You know, right. if you don't believe that these Swiss countries are the forefront of the mark of the beast technology, you know, I, please take a look at this uh, opening ceremony of the Gothard Tunnel. Again, very few views on it. Um, and, and, you know, if you want to really talk about opening the gates of hell, well, here you go. Okay, so as you can see, very disturbing, right? Like, clearly not like, oh, this is normal. I do encourage you to view this on your own and to look up the news coverage on it because they do not show you all of this. I hope you're still with me. Another thing with the Swiss, they are known, uh, the Swiss countries, they're known for their banking system, Swiss banks, okay? We've had a connection with them for many years. Uh, prominent people have hid blood money there for a long time understand that they are the forefront of this cashless empire the forefront of this rfid chip technology um now the rfid is going to be backed by bitcoin 
So as you can see that there are many people being lured in by the promise of wealth by investing into Bitcoin, Litecoin, there's all these farming uh, things or whatever, and all this is doing is putting value into the rise of this new one world global economy. What happened is the stock market is actually meant to crash. Um, so any paper wealth, cash wealth, you will be forced to invest in this new currency. So let's take a look at all of this happening in Revelation 13, okay? Uh, as I said, I will get into more detail on this, but 13 is the number of rebellion. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and the mouth the mouth of a lion, and the dragon, as we know being the enemy, uh, gave him his power and his seat in great authority. One note on blasphemy, blasphemy, the only unforgivable sin is blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Um, now we know that the dragon is Satan, so if you watch some of my other videos, you'll, you'll know this. Um, Trump is getting his power through satanic forces. Nothing happens at random. Okay, it's all meant and prophesied. Now, let's continue. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his fatal wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. Again, he will be killed, and it will seem that he has overcome death, but this is a farce. He is not Jesus Christ's return. Okay, um, they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast and they worshiped the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him so again this concept of false security right we're gonna, we're gonna say oh look he can overcome death let's all worship him and follow him because he's going to keep us safe because nobody can harm him right so um let's continue and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. So essentially, you're worshiping Satan. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two. Open his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Again, this is where he is going to claim he is God and speak poorly about followers of Christ. Okay? And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So the war with the saints is the war against the Christians that are here. Um, and he will overcome them. Power would be given to him to rule the earth again. This is full reign. Okay. Uh, all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So these are those who reject the Holy Spirit. They will see further into this great deception, and they will be very deceived by it. Now it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Um, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Again, being killed by the swords, he is speaking directly to the martyrs. Then it says, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So this again, I believe, is the Pope who will confirm that it is quote-unquote Christ returning. But again, do not believe this. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So this will be to prove that he is to be worshipped, but again, do not fall for this. But all of the seemingly wonderful miracles he's going to do is going to be based on witchcraft and occult magic okay um this is not going to be done by divine power um it, it will be done by the power of the elements okay and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live Again, please do not do this. Uh, this is where he will put an image of himself up as God in the holy city of Jerusalem.
And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Again, if you refuse to worship him or get his mark, you will be put to death. Okay, but understand that this is a, a fleshly death, but you will receive the crown of life as God explains. Here's going into the mark. He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, so this is the RFID chip implanted. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. I am going to post a link below um, where you can see a video that there is a man who was able to break it down to its numerical components. So please understand that once all of these things happen and the world thinks that they have finally achieved peace around the globe, World War III will break out, and it's going to be incited, killing a third of the population. In my next video, I'll talk a little bit more about both how to identify the Antichrist um, in his numbers, as you can see in popular movies, music, and articles today, so 13, 23, and X. I'll go into more detail about that. Another video that I'll do, which talks about uh, some of the things that will occur after the false age of peace, okay? So these are the things leading up to this false age. So I, I really just um, pray for everyone to be vigilant and keep your eye out for this. To fully give your life to the plan of God and you truly want and seek forgiveness, let's take a moment and say the prayer of salvation but you can only do this with an open uh, and repentant heart when you're ready and we'll say this prayer together father i know that i have broken your laws and my sins have separated me from you i am truly sorry and now i want to turn away from my past sinful life toward you please forgive me and help me avoid sinning again I believe that your son Jesus Christ died for my sins was resurrected from the dead is alive and hears my prayers I invite Jesus to become the Lord of my life to rule and reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I pray that you all go forth and seek Yeshua. He is pretty cool when you get to know him and establish a connection with him.